Hey guys, we're here today to check out the Patreon poll winner of the week, Flesh God Apocalypse, I Can Ever Die, the latest video, latest single from their upcoming new album, an album that I've heard already, so full disclosure, I, I've never seen the video, uh, but uh, I've heard the song, and I want to say this, right now, as we sit here today, checking out this video, as you guys sit here today, watching this video, this is in the poll position for my favorite album of 2024. Damn. I don't know why I'm acting surprised. You've already told me this. I don't know why you're acting surprised either. It's Flesh God Apocalypse. But anyhow, uh, this no, album... But, but, you know, a lot of albums come out in a year. Uh, uh, if you said top five, then it's like, the, yeah, of course. But Right now it's number one. Right now it's number one. And to put it in context, I really like, because I've also heard the new Dark Tranquility album. I really like that album. This one for me is ahead of Dark Tranquility. Wow. Maybe by, like, a tip. But ahead nevertheless. As we sit, like I said, as we sit right now, this is my uh, my favorite album of the year. I just can't I can't get enough of this record. It's really good. You play it a lot in the car. It's really good. It's my go-to album right now. Like when I don't have anything new to hear or whatever, I go to this record. I I fucking love it. So anyhow, uh, I can never die. Flesh God Apocalypse. Are you ready? Yeah. By the way, next week we're gonna see them live. So keep that in mind.
All right, uh, because I heard the song before, mm -hmm. I want to hear your uh, your take on the track. Well, I was gonna say first, the music video is great. I love it. I love Dude, the, the music video is absolutely. Phenomenal. I love the the whole video. It's like a painting. It's like a painting. Yeah, like yeah, an yeah. animated painting. Yes, I love that because it fits. In the, the beginning, band to so be honest well. with you, I wasn't sure if the video had downloaded like on uh, either that or if it, or, 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 or is this like uh, is this like a no? I thought it was like is this like a four K video and my computer cannot handle uh, handle four K so it's no, but it, the I whole guess thing. it's meant to be like that. That that's. It, it looks genius. I mean, it's right, genius. But not only is it genius for what band is using it, it's like in an opera house. Yeah, man, dude, these guys are the perfect band for it. By the way, they're they're coming to Toronto. They're they're going to be uh, doing a North American tour with uh, Shadow of Intent, and uh, um, you you may, maybe you'll see your buddy Bender. Uh, anyhow, um... Bender. <laughs> I gotta tell him I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say um, they're gonna be playing at the opera house, so uh, like perfect oh, venue perfect if you venue, ask me. Yeah. If you ask me, but anyhow, these so guys either have to play there or Massey Hall. Like it's, it has to be like that vibe to the level of of their of their stature. Is that what you're saying? It has to fit what they do. It has to fit their vibe. Yeah, these guys f are that vibe. Uh, I mean, I'm excited to see them in Finland because it's gonna be outdoor festival. Mm -hmm. I've never seen them. I mean, you've never seen them at all, but I've never seen them in that setting. Uh, I've seen them at the Opera House. I've saw them at the Axis Club. So I've seen them in different venues in Toronto, but I've never seen them outdoor venue like headlining uh, a festival. So th that is like fucking cool and exciting. But anyhow, back to the song. Uh, the video, hands down, we're yeah, in agreement. Yeah, yeah. Whoever's idea was, it was a great idea. This like painting animation shit, whatever. Fucking amazing. It was, idea. A, it was a I great idea. It. Um, and the song, dude, that chorus is amazing. Pa, her voice. Her voice. Out of this world. Yeah, I, I think she's really uh, elevated this band. I mean, the band was already... She elevates this record. This yeah, whole this record. record. Never mind this song, never mind the band, this whole record. Um, okay, never but mind. But I say band because I haven't heard the whole record yet. Oh, oh. So when it comes to music... She's always been a huge part of the band, but I feel like on this record, they turned her all the way to 11. Yeah. The, the, they, let, they let go of the reins. It's like just fucking go, go they mental. Let her, they let her fly. Yeah, just fucking do your thing. Because so far the songs I've heard from this record are are, are each becoming my favorite Flesh Gun Apocalypse Yeah, songs. but I don't know if you've noticed the trend. For those of you that are not as lucky as me that haven't heard the album, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed the trend that her voice on this record is not as operatic. No, she's... It's not as much more of, of actual singing. Like, she's actually singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's actually singing. I mean, there's still some pieces here and there where she brings, you know, she's her mostly opera style singing. vocals. But overall, through this, through the entire record, she's mostly singing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that they hadn't really tapped into before. But they, they, they don't just tap into on this record. They they tap on it and then they, they step on it and then they rely on it uh, like heavily throughout the entire album. There's certain songs on this record that's actually more... Of, of her singing than Francesco singing. So, like, she really took um, a, a more predominant role on this record. She's not just, which is good, like, a backup I, I, vocalist. She's she's a vocalist. Yeah, which is good, because, like I, like I said, I, I, like, I'm listening to songs from this record, and I'm like, fuck, this is my new song, favorite song. No, this is my new favorite like, Yeah, a, a Blood Clock up until now probably was, like, your favorite song from, from them, from this record, and, mm -hmm. like, that song was amazing. I didn't say from them, because I was like, uh, maybe not. Oh, you but, prefer the single before that? Uh, I like till the till death do us. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, moving on. Um, but but yeah, man, dude, this um, this record. I mean, you've listened to the whole record. I've heard some bits and pieces of songs that you've played in the car, and obviously the the ones we've done on the channel. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, I I I can agree with you. This is uh, shaping up at least for me. Shaping up for. A good record. My my uh, my favorite uh, up until up until this record was created. My favorite Flash God Apocalypse song, believe it or not, is Mona Lisa. Same. Th that's that's my favorite. That, but that's why I said when you said it was, the last was my favorite. I'm like, no, Mona Lisa was my favorite because I think that was one of the first songs. No, I don't think it was the first song, but I think it was one of the first songs we we did from them. No, um, no, 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 or maybe no. not. No, no, know. that was not all not, not was, close all to being the first was, all song. I, no, it was not the first song. I think it was like it was the last video that we did from the last record because it was the last video to oh, be released. Yes. 
So definitely not the first but no, song. No, but definitely it, it's the one that's stayed in my memory. In I, bu- I, I bought the forty. The... I bought the forty-five. You know the vinyl. The, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. I bought the special edition forty-five. That's how much I like that song. But to me, of all the albums, Sorry, of... my 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 time perception goes away when it comes to our channel. What do you mean depth perception? My time perception. Oh, so anyways, what I was trying to say is that that my favorite song from them up until this point, up until this record came out, was Mona Lisa. Yeah, and I know f- for some people, uh, there's other songs, and you'll say, oh, that's not a very heavy song. I- I'm, I'm not uh, judging on heaviness here. Oh, it's just my favorite yeah, my favorite yeah, yeah. song. And in that song, you-, you-, you could see the impact that she has on the track, uh, in the chorus of the track, in the, in the track in general. But it- it's... I've always felt that she was a little bit underused in their music. Like, there was more room for her to do more. And I don't think it's a surprise that my favorite song from them up until this album was Mona Lisa, which is a, a song that I feel like she she plays a big role in, in not, not only in the song, but in defining what that song is all about, the mood of that song. You cannot have Mona Lisa without her voice in it. So that track, to me, it, it, it explains to, my, to me why... Uh, why I like it because she has a predominant role uh, and I o- honestly always felt like she could have bigger roles in the songs not just coming in here and there with with almost backing vocals to a certain extent and having those operatic moments within the song which always gives this theatrical cinematic cinematic vibe to the tracks which goes really well with the orchestrations which goes really al- well with the piano part all, all of that is true but I've always gravitated to the songs where she had more of an impact mm-hmm. Mona Lisa being one of them and to me that was like the in, on top of the pyramid until this album came out yeah, yeah when I was yeah. listening to this album every um, ev- every song on this record as I was listening to the album I'm like okay this is my new favorite song then the next one comes in that's okay, what I was just saying like... that is my new favorite song and, and it's it's an album that's there's no no duds whatsoever it's just a really well crafted record and I think w- why this record for me right now, um, uh, why this record for me right now is my favorite album from them, is because she has a huge role in this record. Not with necessarily the operatic style of her vocals, but just fucking singing. Just singing in general. Just singing. Because she has an incredible voice. She has an incredible voice, but the operatic stuff is good because I mean it adds to their like you know the gimmick of the band and everything, right? But. Her actual singing is so nice, and it goes so well, especially in, in songs like "Till Death Do Us Part." Like, which or, people haven't heard that yet. Oh, because it's not out. Oh, but any, anyways, yeah. Mm. I mean, you did. That's my favorite. Song <laughs> that's my favorite song on the album. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite song on the album. That's my favorite. That's my favorite song in general. Like, that's my favorite song from Flesh God Apocalypse. Yes, in general, it, it, it replaced from, Mona Lisa. It, it went from Mona Lisa to that. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. That song 100%. is so good. And, and, let me just. I just I, hope they. I f- first. I hope they do a video. Yes. And second, I hope they play it live. Yes. Can I? Can I at least just say like in in? She's the singer in that song. I know. I know. But I'm. I'm gonna say in songs like that, which no one has listened to, but I'll give a little bit of thing, uh, where they sing together and and. That song is ninety percent her. Her. It's ninety percent her. But in the in the chorus. In the chorus, you have the backing they vocals. Have, uh, he's though. the backing yeah, yeah, vocals, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I he's like. He's doing that. her role in previous tracks. I like that. It, you know, you know what he kind of gives off um, because this is the first band that came to mind. Whenever uh, I hear that in that chorus, that it gives me draconian vibes. Where sometimes the the harsher vocals are are becoming the backing vocals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, they alternate. Something. They alternate, and I like that. I I'm I'm with you. Uh, yeah, it, you know. By the way, I didn't know that. I. I that's that's why I said my time perception's fucked when it comes to the channel because I'm like, is that song out yet? Like, I, don't, I don't know. No, because it was Pendulum the first single. It was Pendu- yeah. Then was uh, Blood Clock. Yes. And now this one. Yeah. So I I don't know if they're gonna make a single out they, of that song. I think they're gonna make the best for last, maybe. Dude, that song. Listen, as a fan of Flesh God Apocalypse, that song is so. Good. That song to me is like, song is like it's just amazing. It's amazing. It's a ballad, but it's amazing. You know. Um, it's beautiful. It's just fucking beautiful. And if you look at the at the concept of the record, what that song represents towards the end of the album, because it's near the end of the album, it's uh, it's the second last song. It's absolutely uh, amazing. Now for the diehard, the and I mean the diehard, I mean like the 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 I want my flesh got apocalypse with a lot of heaviness on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that song may not hit the mark because. It's more emotionally heavy than musically heavy. So I, I don't know if that's going to be a, a crowd pleaser per se. But 
for me, Maybe it's, it's their like, best song it, ever. It, it, it's like Mona Lisa, though. Where some people... Not are, as heavy as Mona Lisa. No, but I'm saying... And I'm not saying that, Mona Lisa is a heavy song either. But I'm but, saying, I'm saying like, in the same way people see Mona Lisa is the same way some are going to see mm, that song. I don't know, man. I don't know. Mon- Mona Lisa... Mona, it's, there are two different songs. I know, but I'm just saying in the way people see it. I, I, I hope... I, I hope they find within themselves the strength to say, fuck it, this is going to be a single. Maybe not a single before the album comes out, but release the song on the day of the album release mm-hmm. or something like that. And I would really hope that they would put that song on, on the set list. Because it's just... <sighs> pulls at my heartstrings. Like, if you guys enjoy the chorus on this track... The chorus on like that if track you if you is... enjoy the chorus on this track, that track is gonna blow your mind. Um, but the album has so many good songs, man. So many good songs. Like I mean, there's n- like it's really a solid record. And if you guys haven't pre-ordered it yet, fucking go do it right now. Just pick it up. In my humble opinion, best album from Flesh God Apocalypse ever. It, and it has a lot of great things going for it. One, the story, the the concept. Do, uh, that deals with Francesco near death experience, mountain climbing, and whatever. So the whole album, each song represents a stage in what he went through. So each song is a representation of of the journey that that he took. Um, you, you know, and uh, the the music is outstanding. And then the fact that they've turned her vocals all the way to eleven on this record, and not the operatic style, like just singing, singing. To me, it just separates the uh, the men from the boys, and and this album is that good. It's that good. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's that good. And this guy knows that song because every time I'm in the car, the I play that, that plays. song. That's the first song that plays, and then when you know we're close somewhere or wherever we're going, that's the last song that plays. That song's got to get at least two plays in the on a car trip, the one that starts a trip and the one that ends, <laughs> ends the, trip. the trip. Has to. This is just a fucking phenomenal track, uh, but this one is not less phenomenal. To be honest, mm. to be honest, um, of the three singles, actually, Pendulum is the last, uh, my least favorite of the three. Not that there's anything wrong with that song; I enjoy that song a lot. But of the three singles that they've decided to release so far, that's perhaps my least I, I favorite. Like, one. I, I really like this one, though. I really like this one. I mean, I, th- I feel like I really like this. It's the start of the record too, so it I, kind I, f- of... I feel like I like this one not only because of the song itself. I mean, the chorus is, is amazing in this song. And it just has a nice. Yeah, let me just check I feel like when she sings, it, it it's always like a nice swaying motion. But um, I feel like with the video and everything that goes with the song, I actually I was just playing the song, uh, the album on the, the car. Ride. Yeah, I know. Um, that was the song that ended the car ride. That's yeah, so the first three songs, the first three singles are technically the first three songs on the album because the first one is uh, like an intro. But the one that I think is going to blow people's minds is Morphine Walls. <laughs> that song. That song is going to blow people's minds. So anyways, I hope I'm teasing you guys enough. Go pre-order the record. Go pick it up. You're not going to be disappointed. This album is outstanding. And by the way, the video with the whole opera theme plays into the title of the record. It plays into the whole uh, record. So the video on this song kind of brings the con- the f- full-on concept together in a really... Uh, in a nicely done manner, but but the video is, is beautiful. I think beautifully that's, done. That's why I think I enjoyed the song a lot more because I'm also getting a nice visual stimulant from it. I I think of the three is probably the one that I feel that from a visual standpoint, in terms of the art behind what it's the beautiful. is the best one of it's the three. Beautiful, because you know the the blood on the on the on the drum kit or on the piano. We've seen all of that stuff. I mean, we've seen them pl- play the piano underwater, for God's sakes. I mean, we we've seen them do quite a bit of things. Yeah. So this one, from a more artist. Uh, standpoint, Seeing aesthetic. Seeing the background that they're in, and aesthetic whatever, even looking, it's not like they're they're clear and it's just a painting. No, even them no, are even like like brushes. They are the painting. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. And plays like I said, it plays to the concept of the record and the and the artwork of the album and the theme of the album and the name of the album. So really well done. Everything came together perfectly. I love it. All right, uh, I can never die from Flesh God Apocalypse. Go pre-order the record. Anything else? No, I think we're good. Till death do us part. We'll see you all at the next one. See ya.